Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to unbox your new mountain bike from Cycling Avenue so that you'll be ready to hit your local trails in no time. If you need support at any point while assembling your bike, please feel free to contact our customer service agents. First, remove the accessory box which contains the multi-tool and some other parts to help you out. You can scan the QR code on the information sheet with your smartphone to access our assembly manual or you can go to the URL written on the information sheet. Next, remove the protective paper. You can keep the packaging and the box if you plan on sending us your bike as a trade-in. Take the wheels out and put them aside with the saddle, then take the bike out of the box. Then, start removing the tie wraps and the frame protector. Use scissors to cut the ties. If your zip ties are reusable, simply open them by using the tab. You will then want to install the handlebars. Remove the bolts and plates from the stem using the Allen key from the multi-tool included with your bike. If the stem is facing away from the fork, loosen the stem from the head tube and rotate it so that it faces forward. Now you are ready to install the handlebars. Tighten the bolts in a star pattern, gradually up to 5 newton meters so that they are evenly tightened. Now install your saddle. If your bike is equipped with a dropper seat post, it should already be installed. Simply install the saddle with your tool. Make sure the seat post is in the right direction and tighten the collar. If your bike comes with a traditional seat post, apply a thin layer of carbon paste, included in your accessory box, on the seat post before inserting it in the frame and tighten it according to the manufacturer's specifications. You are now ready to mount your wheels. Let's start with the front one. Remove the shim from the caliper and through axle, then install the front wheel. Repeat these steps for the rear wheel, being careful to clear the derailleur and place the chain on a sprocket. Make sure the front and rear axles are tightened to the required specifications and give the wheel a turn to properly place the chain. Now you're ready to pump your tires. If you need help figuring out which pressure is right for you and your type of bike, please check out our article on how to pump your tires and choose the right tire pressure on the blog section of our website. Now that both wheels are installed and the tires are inflated, it's time to install the pedals. Our pedals are labeled left or right. The right pedal screws on normally, while the left pedal has a reverse thread. You'll need to turn this axle counterclockwise to screw it on. For more information on how to install your pedals, check out our dedicated article in the blog section of our website. Use the crank to your advantage. Rotate the crank arms backwards while screwing it in the pedal and finish the installation by tightening the axle with a 15mm wrench. Now it's time to adjust the angle of your handlebars and brake levers. Start in a neutral position with your wrist straight when your fingers are on the lever. Adjust the shift paddle for easy access while your fingers are still on the brake levers. Same goes for the dropper seat post lever if your bike is equipped with one. Now that your handlebars are adjusted, make sure the front wheel is aligned. To make the adjustments, partly unscrew the stem bolt so the front wheel and the handlebar can move independently. Once the front wheel is straight, start by tightening the expansion plug bolt followed by the stem bolts and make sure to follow the manufacturer's torque specifications. Now you're almost ready to go, but first it's time to check your suspension settings. You will need a suspension pump to fully adjust them. Follow the information on the fork or use the manufacturer's specification online as a starting point for the air pressure. Be sure to do this with the settings open by checking the blue knob on your fork and shock. Before you leave, check that your dropper seat post is functioning and make sure the gears and brakes are all working properly. See you on the trails.